Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Antimalarials part 2. In part 1, I have explained about malaria life cycle, quinine and chloroquine chemistry and medicinal chemistry aspects. In this part, I am going to explain about chemistry of palmaquine, primaquine, amodiaquine, mefloquine, proguanil and artemisinins. Now, this is my 250, 250th video. Uh, this is my YouTube channel. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. Now see, chloroquine and amodioquine belong to a class known as 4-aminoquinolins. 4 because at 4th position there is an amine substitution is there for both of them. Hence they are called as fluoramino-quinoline derivatives. Whereas palmaquine and primaquine belongs to 8-aminoquinoline derivatives. At 8th position, 6, 7, at 8th position you have amine substitutions are there. They are called as 8-amino substitutions. Whereas mefloquine is known as Quinine methanol substitution. There is a methanol group is there, hence they are called as quinine methanol substitution. Artemisinin is a kind of endoperoxide which belongs to a different chemical class. Now let us see the chemistry of palmaquine. Now see, palmaquine, uh, as I told you, it is an 8 amino derivative, 8 amino quinoline derivative. Now the IUPAC name is N N diethyl. At this junction, on nitrogen, do you have two ethyl groups are there and six methoxyquinoline. At 6th position, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at 6th position a methoxy group is attached and at 8th position, this is 7 and 8th position you have substitution is there. It is called as A-tile pentane 1,4-diamine, 1, I am sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is pentane, 1,4-diamine at 1st and, and at 1st carbon and 4th car carbon you have two amine substitutions are there. So this is what is palmaquine. Now, primaquine, palmaquine, the mechanism of action is they develop reactive oxygen species which are lethal to plasmodium. This is what is mechanism of action of primaquine and palmaquine. Now, let us see the synthesis of palmaquine. It starts with 8 amino 6 methoxyquinoline. See, this is the starting material. This is 8th place and this is 6th place. At 6th place, methoxy is there. At 8th place, amino group is there. Hence, it is known as 8 amino 6 methoxyquinoline. Now, this reacts with this substitution. 1 di diethyl amino. See, at 1st carbon, you have amino with diethyl substitution. At 4th position, 2, 3, at 4th position, bromine is there and this is pentane. So, 1 diethyl amino, 4 bromopentane and it undergoes a condensation reaction and it liberates HBr, hydrogen bromide and results in the synthesis of palmaquine. So, it is very simple, a condensation reaction, two of the starting materials react with each other by liberating hydrogen bromide and you get palmaquine. Now, primaquine, palmaquine, both of them are 8-aminoquinoline derivatives. There is only difference at substitution at amine group. If you have a primary amine group is there, it is called as primaquine. Whereas diethyl substitution, it is known as palmaquine. As I explained earlier, both the drugs, the mechanism of action is they generate reactive oxygen species which are lethal to plasmodium. Now, the next four amino derivative, amodiaquine. Uh, understand the structure activity relationships. Look at this. See, in chloroquine, you have amine group is there and the bridge carbon is 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon linker is there. Look at this amodiaquine. See, this is an amine group and this is an amine group. And you have 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon linker is there, but it is cyclized. So, this is important one, 4 carbon link between two amine groups. And here also 4 carbon link between two amine groups are there. So, amodiaquine, the difference is two of three of the carbons are cyclized mechanism of action is very similar to chloroquine which is releasing heme from hemozoin which is toxic to plasmodium so at seventh position this is one two three four five i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry uh, the numbering starts from here and so this is one two three four 5, 6 and 7. At 7th position a chloroquine, a chlorine substitution is there. 4 L. At 4th position the substitution is amino, this is amino, diethyl amino methyl phenol. So this is diethyl amino, this is methyl and this is phenol. The phenol position is the hydroxy is present at 4th position. So this is how it is named. 4, 7 chloroquinoline 4 L amino, 
टू डाइथेलो मिथाइल फिनॉल as i told you the mechanism action is releasing heme from hemozyne which is toxic to plasmodium now mefloquine mefloquine is quinine methanol derivative now 28 bis trifluoromethyl see at second position and at eighth position trifluoromethyl groups are there quinoline 4l this ring is quinoline and at fourth position you have substitution and the substitution is piperidyl methanol this is piperidine ring and this is methanol See, meflo M E F indicates methyl fluoro. At, in in one of the previous GPAT examination, a question was asked: Which of the following antimanalial contains trifluoro methyl group? The name itself will give you the hint. Meflo means methyl fluoro, trifluoro methyl. Now the next drugs: proguanil and cycloguanil. See, both of them, the mechanism of action is they inhibit dihydrofolate reductase of plasmodium by inhibiting this enzyme. Folic acid synthesis is inhibited. If folic acid synthesis is inhibited, DNA is not synthesized, and plasmodium cannot multiply. This is what is the mechanism of action. Now, if you can see, proguanil is rearranged to form cycloguanil. So, proguanil is a pro drug. Cycloguanil is the active drug. Now, this is a guanido group. So, this is a guanido derivative, proguanil. See. This a four chloro substitution aniline is there. So four chloro aniline is what is this ring is four chloro aniline. And then methylidine two propane two il guanidine. See these groups as I told you these are called as guanidines. Now this is cyclase to give cycloguanil. Now cycloguanil it is cyclase to give a, a ring. This is triazine ring. So four chlorophenyl. This is four chlorophenyl. Six six dimethyl. At sixth position, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. At sixth position, two methyl derivatives, methyl substitution is there, and the ring is one three five triazine, two four diamine. At second position and fourth position, you have two amine groups are there. So this is the IUPAC nomenclature of cycloguanil. As I told you, both of them inhibit dihydrofolate reductase, which finally inhibits the synthesis of DNA. Plasmodium multiplication is not possible. Now pyrimethamine is also dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. Now see again, it has got a flow four chlorophenyl. Now six ethyl. So this one is sixth position and ethyl and two four pyrimidine diamine at second I'm sorry at second and fourth position two amine groups are there so one two three four five six at fifth position four chlorophenyl is there at sixth position ethyl group is there at second and fourth position diamine is there and the ring is pyrimidine now see artemisinins uh, uh, all these are they artemisinin is a six Sesqui terpene lactone. Sesqui terpene means a compound made up of three isoprene units bound to a cyclic organic ester. Or cyclic organic esters are lactones. See, this is cyclic organic ester. This is a lactone. All these are derivatives of artemisinins. They have an endo peroxide ring, and artemisinins are very powerful drugs which are used as used in artemisin combination therapy to treat all malarial infections. Now see, artemisinin derivatives, artemisinin, artemisinin, dihydroartemisinin. They are all blood schizonticides. So they kill plasmodium, which is present in red blood cell. They accumulate in the food vacuole of the plasmodium and bind to iron in heme and damage the parasite proteins. This is how they act. They are very effective against all plasmodium species, and they are the first choice to treat chloroquine resistant malaria. And they are also used to treat serious infection, and they are more effective than quinine and quinidine. Prominently, they are used in artemisinin combination therapy, wherein the other class of drugs are used along with artemisinins. So this is about antimalarial drugs, uh, medicinal chemistry aspects. If you like the video, do subscribe and share. Thank you for watching this video.